Okay, in this segment, we're just going to bring a background image in. Now, I've got a, a few backplates, or um, these are photos of some scenery. I just drag and drop those out of Windows Explorer into the background of Max and accept both of those options there. Now, you might think that getting the perspective on the Morgan right against that background is going to be difficult, but it's not. In 3ds Max 2014, uh, they put a nice new function in called Perspective Match. Okay, all you need to do is turn those vanishing lines on, and there's a few of them, and all you're aiming to do is line them up with some kind of geometry in your background image. So you can drag a line over, and then you can just line those points up and just get it as close as you can. The closer you get it, the better the perspective match will be. Okay, so we'll take the red line there, just put it across the top of the uh, archway. Whilst I do that, a word of warning on the image files. Make sure when you download any kind of image file, um, you own the rights to use it. If you reread the Morgan competition rules, you do need the rights to all of the uh, digital images and things that you put in your model or in your uh, final submission. OK, if you do have a backplate like this one, then it's really handy to have some nice straight edges that you can line those um, vanishing lines up with. OK, so you can see there now that we've actually got the background match quite nicely with the uh, with the Morgan. So it's just a matter of adjusting the horizontal, vertical and distance spinners until you get the car in roughly the right place. Now notice I'm not typing any numbers in there. I'm literally picking on the little up or down arrow. It doesn't matter. Hold the mouse key down and then push the mouse backwards and forwards. And that'll just adjust those little spinners up or down. Okay, so that's nearly, nearly where I want it. And that'll do nicely. Now you can go to the view menu and create a camera from the view. You can see there now that the view name is called camera 001. And if we switch back to not full screen okay you can actually see the camera has been created there in that top view 